actually first training session back? How did it go? Yeah, I think it's good to be back. Um, it's been a, a long, probably eight weeks. A um, lot of looking back on last season and um, probably changed the dynamics of the side slightly and, and going down a different route and brought some new staff in and had to say goodbye to some, some good players. And, uh, brought some new ones in so like anything in pre-season it's, it's early stages I thought it was an outstanding session tonight you know we had some some crucial players away tonight as well with, with work and on holidays we were back Saturday and next week um, but I thought the boys that come in tonight were terrific we've got a real good feel about the club and, and it's exciting you know we just hopefully get off to a better start than we did last year <laughs> yeah so we, we, we've got some players down on paper a few new boys uh, Billy you know, Lennon stands out I think yeah, fantastic signing. You know, he was the, the first player I rang when I when I um, when the season finished. You know, and, and and I spoke to Steve Baker a number of times on him, and I, I drove with with Dad to, to his house, and we met him in a in a little pub around the corner from his house, and probably think that's what got him over the line in the end. That, that our willingness to, to to get him done because he had some good clubs after him, clubs at our level after him, were very keen to get him. Uh, Fourteen goals from midfield last year. Um, probably run out a little bit of steam towards the end of the season. You know, he's a young player playing his first level at step three. But I think you've seen tonight the energy he brings here, the desire, the quality on the ball. Um, a very, very good signing for us. And we, and we need to add goals to our team. We need to add pace to our side and we need to add some guile on us. And I think Billy brings that with a work ethic and a, and a desire to do well. And I think you'll find this year that we've got a group of players that, that want to do well in their careers. And I, and I think that's probably what we lacked last year. That's no disrespect to the players we had, but we've got players that want to kick on. And, and I think I'm renowned for, for helping players move on. We've just seen Josh Woody do it now. You know, he's gone on and he's gone to Braintrum over the moon for the kid. And hopefully we've got many more in to come. Uh, another player who impressed uh, against this last year, particularly down here, was, was Adam Layreff, who was with uh, Hartley Whitney. And He's put pen to paper as well. Are you pleased to get him over the line? Yeah, really pleased. I thought he was outstanding in both games for us against us last year. I thought Hamwell, we played very well and, and the Hartley game stands out. He tore us apart. Yeah. And, and obviously I'm close to my brother-in-law and, and Lenny, the nephew, was at Hartley and, and Alfie's been adamant that we've got to get him in. And from what I watched last year and what I've seen tonight, fantastic signing. Um, real live wire, again, going to cause problems with his pace and his legs. And... That's what we're trying for. Again, young and hungry, and that's the kind of route we're going down with a little bit of experience in David Dejo, Nico Muir, Lucas Perry, Joe White, and Matsyaka. They're, they're, they're experienced boys at the level now, but they're they're exciting players to have on board, and and I think that's the route we want to go down. We want exciting players, and um, I think that's what we lacked last year. Was I, I thought we were a good side, but our results never showed for it, and and probably we lacked a, a desire and a hunger and a. Uh, and an energy and a pace about us which probably let us down so you know I feel that we're getting that yeah we might be a little bit experienced at times but I think we'll have some fun with this group yeah. and I think we've seen tonight some of the flair out there was, was exceptional but it's early days you know very very early days and um, we've still got some more to get over the line we've had one in tonight that I'm desperate to sign but he's got a, a, a meeting on Saturday with another club and, and that's pre-season for you you know and, and if he goes on to the other club it'll be a great signing for him in, in the league above but if not and we get him it's a, it's a brilliant signing but a long way to go um, I think we've got some exciting probably said it a million times now <laughs> players um, but as I say you know and I, and I thank the players that have been with us previously Kieran Forbes and Liam Brooks is we've, we've said goodbye to and um Arthur Ironson, you know, people like that have been good good lads for us. But we've retained the core group that I'm happy with. And um, I, I just think that we've got a, a, a nice, young, hungry, energetic team that will hopefully surprise a few this year and, and can have some flair about it and, you know, score some goals. And, and yeah. I think we've got that in Joe and Nico. And I think we've got some, some pace out wide. And, and if we get the middle pitch right and, and the back four right, then I think we'll do well. You know, we've brought in young George from, from Hadley. It's impressed me tonight. Seeing in the Larians come back like best I've seen him since the first day I signed him. He looks terrific, the kid. And you sprinkle that with Sean Lucia and Luca and Guri the Mora, Frank Cater. It, it, it's really good times. And, you know, I'm... Uh, I'm excited for what the future holds, but you know we've got a one session at a time. We're in Saturday, we play Sunday, and, and then we go again next week. Yeah, we go.